All right, Maddie, thank you so much. And I'm joined now by Magdala Lusant, and I know you've been here all day as well as I have uh, following a different part of the story. You've been talking to friends and family of the victims, and it seems like the more we learn about them personally, it just seems make, makes this loss so much more tragic. It does. It's really tough right now. Of the three victims, we were able to speak with Walter Rainey's family. Uh, he is known as Bart to a lot of people here in Vestavia Hills who went to this church around the community as well. Uh, we spoke with some, or his family actually gave us a statement telling us that he is very secure with his love to his family and friends and was very strong in his faith. His neighbors tell me he was a nice man. News of Walter Bart Rainey's death left his neighbors, Brian Cox and Janie Barnes, in disbelief. I feel a little better now that the initial shock has worn off. You know, it's just such a tragic situation. He was a very nice man, and I'm so sorry that he's gone. Rainey was one of three people killed at St. Stephen's Episcopal Church Thursday evening. Vestavia Hills police say Robert Smith, 70, started shooting at parishioners during a potluck dinner. Two women, 75-year-old Sarah Yeager and 84-year-old Jane Pounds, also died. You hear about these shootings, you know, in the news and stuff, and you think, oh, that's so such tragic news, and it is. Uh, and then when it hits close to home with someone that you know, it just hits really hard. Cox says the Rainies moved next door to him in Irondale four years ago. He's an older gentleman, so he, uh, you know, asked me to come help him with things a lot, like changing the air filter and the ceiling. He can't help but to hold on to one memory with Rainey. A few weeks ago, one of Cox Rose trees knocked over one of Rainey's trees. He says, "Man, it's a tree. It'll, it, you know, it'll grow back. You're not hurt. I'm not hurt." It's fine. And, you know, that's just, you know, that story just sticks out in my head because that is just the epitome of him. Just, you know, very understanding, very nice. In a statement, Rainey's family tell us the 84 year old was with his wife of 61 years, Linda, as he took his last breath, saying, we are all grateful that she was spared and that he died in her arms while she murmured words of comfort and love into his ears, adding, we also feel a sense of peace that his last hours were spent in one of his favorite places on earth, St. Stephen's Episcopal Church, a place that welcomes everyone with love. Bart was just the nicest person always had a kind word to say uh, you know he, he would go out of his way to help anybody who needed it now the Rainey family wanted me to share with the public that they are thankful for all the uh, prayers that the community has offered them as well as um, the kindness the community has put out there to help this family ease with this pain and of course the uh, his wife his children and grandchildren tell me they will miss him very much now if you would like to read uh, the family's entire statement you can on wvtm13.com you hear those personal stories just heartbreaking to learn so much more about the people who are now gone and just, just their lives in general. You know, we've watched people come and go here at the church.